Hi friends, how are you today? This video is section 15 about Flutter tutorial series. And today, we are going to talk about container widget. I am Abdulaziz Ahwan from Indonesia, and let's get started with my video. In the previous section, we have discussed about text, center, and padding widget. Everything in Flutter consists of widget. In this section, we are going to talk about container widget. So, container is a convenience widget that combines painting, positioning, and sizing widget. To simply it, we can say that container is used to contain a child widget with the ability to apply some styling properties. If the container widget has no child widget in it, it will be automatically fill the area of the screen. Otherwise, if there is a child, it will wrap to the height and width of the given child element. Okay, now, one important point is that a container widget should not render directly without any parent widget. Although, we can use a center widget, a pending widget, a column or a row widget, or a scaffold widget as the parent for a container. But you have to make sure that a container widget should not render directly without any parent widget. Now, let's dive into practical demonstration. Open the previous project file, link in the description below. Okay, and now we will see how container works. And as we can see on the screen, we have a scaffold widget here. As of now, we need to delete this code and we will build a container in the remaining body parameter of the scaffold widget. So we need to delete this. So to do that, we need to provide a container inside this body parameter. Okay, and just perform a head reload. When it has done, is that it has built a container on top of the body, but it's not visible at the moment because the container has covered the whole body of the scaffold. So, to make it visually representable, just add some color to it. So, to do that, we will give the color parameter and let's say that we want to make it to be orange. and just perform a hot reload. As we can see now that the container has color itself to be orange, it means that the container is completely over the body. So as we can see that the whole body has thrown into orange. We also can resize this container. We can give a width and a height parameter. Let's say we want to make it to 300 and for the height we will give it to 200 so now we perform a reload again and as we can see the container has reduced to the mention height and width and now the question is what we can do with this container with this container we can move it to the center of the body as well. To do that is very simple. We can use center widget as the parent of the container widget. So we need to move this container. And we need to provide center widget here. And inside this center widget, we need to provide child. Look like this. And just perform a hot reload. As we can see, now the container has moved to the center of the body. This looks pretty good than before. But I'm thinking by adding a border we can see also demonstrate the decoration property that can be used on this container. So to do that we need to provide decoration property and inside this we need to provide box decoration. Now there is a catch here. Inside this box decoration we can give the color of the box that we are supposed to decorate which is the container box right here. But for that, we cannot explicitly mention the color segment before the decoration. So we need to move this color. 
So what we do is that we move the color line inside the box decoration and we will now add a border to it. So we say a border and we say border all because we have to cover all four sides of the square with the border and we will give it a width of 1.0. And just perform a hot reload. And now, as we can see here, there is a border, and we can make it bolder, maybe 5.0. Look like this. Now, the another fun thing about this border is that we can make it circular as well. So, to do that, we use border radius and we say border radius to circular and we set the radius as we want maybe 20 okay look like this as we can see now the corner of the border has rounded and that is proof that we have successfully applied the circular property to it now, there are a lot of different properties that we can see here. All of these property that we can apply to a particular container or any container that we want. But for now, let's add a child to it. So we add a child. It's important to understand that every container can contain one and only one child. So, for the simplicity, let's Add some text into it. So we add text and we say hello container. And we perform a hot reload. As we can see, the some text has appeared. It's hello container. And we can stylize this text. Maybe we want to make it bigger. As we can see, now our text has increased its size, more readable, and now it's bold. From the before, we already know that we can use the center widget to make everything in the center. But what if we don't want to be in the center, but we want it to be in a particular place anywhere in the container? So to do that, flexibility, we have a property, which is called alignment. This property is going to align the child of the container, but not the container itself. So if there is no child in the container, the property would not really work. We won't see a difference in the properties. So let us use the alignment property. Now we say alignment and we provide alignment and we give a value 0.0. .0. And then 0.0. .0. And just perform a hot reload. What this is going to align this text into the center of the screen. Now, it can be quite difficult to understand how the alignment It's like a Cartesian diagram. Look like this. Here is 0.0. .0 and it's like a basic geometry. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So this is 1.0 and 0, 0.0. So for the last concept is how do we expand the container to cover the screen? Let's say we need to our container to fill the screen whether in height or in width. So, how do we do that? To do that, we don't need to mention the height and width explicitly, but we use something called constraint. 
and inside the constraint we use box constraint dot expand and now it's important that whatever we mentioned inside expand would not change but the other would be expanded let's say that when we mention width and set it to be 300 and we need to delete this and just perform a hot reload we can see that the container has expand in height and not in width similarly when we mention height container would expand in width and not in height okay look like this so i think enough for this section hope you understand what we learn in this video our further videos we will discuss images in detail if you have any questions or comment write it down on the comment field thank you so much and see you again on the next video